I believe that in 2019 we'll see a complete turning point in the way organizations and individuals see the most essential part of ourselves, our emotions. The traditional way of viewing the core aspects of who we are, our thoughts and our emotions, is that they are either good or bad, positive or negative. And I believe that this perspective is rigid and that rigidity in the face of complexity is toxic. At a time of unprecedented technological and political change, we are seeing how people's tendency is to lock down more and more into rigid responses to their emotions. And we're seeing this not only at an individual level, but also at an organizational level. Leaders might say, you're either on the bus or you're off the bus. You're either with me or you're against me. And what becomes fascinating is in this drive for forced positivity, or what organizations call just getting on with it, what they are then doing is they are crowding out the ability for people to bring their emotional truth to the workplace. And that emotional truth might be a real concern about how a product is being developed or real worry about a particular change or transformation that's going on in the workplace. And so what's really fascinating is I think that being positive has, in our organizations and beyond, become a new form of moral correctness. We see in our organizations this happening, but we see it in society. Uh, boys are told not to cry or people to stop being so angry, individuals who are ill to just keep being positive. And so there is a tyranny of positivity. And this tyranny of positivity is cruel, it's unkind, and it's ineffective. What we know from research on emotional suppression is that when emotions are denied or ignored, they get stronger. Psychologists call this amplification. It's like that delicious piece of chocolate cake in the refrigerator. The more you try not to think about it, the greater its hold on you. And we see this in individuals, but we also see this in organizations. When organizations push aside the normal, natural experience, the emotions that people have, those emotions don't just go away. They resurface in toxic workplace cultures or they resurface in organizations that have a strategy but aren't able to effect that strategy.